Hello, my name is Chris. Today I'm doing something a little bit different from my other videos. I'm doing um, an opinion video on the game Assassin's Creed 3. Now I've been um, a great fan of the other games and I've played the series since the first one came out um, quite a while ago, some years back. Uh, it's a very good series and um, I would like to go uh, through a few things. But first, um, I would like to uh, note that um, the sound may be changed in this uh, recording here because I'm actually recording on my laptop instead of my PC which I regularly use for recording. Um, the, the gameplay is still recorded on my PC though. Anyway, um, my opinion on the game, yeah. Uh, I thought it was a very good game and um, I think I would like to start out with the cons. So the the negative sides of the game, just to uh, clear it out first. Now there's not many negative sides to the game, but um, I think my biggest uh, annoyance with the game really is um, the way Desmond looks. Now uh, Desmond is the main character throughout uh, the whole series, and um, throughout every game he sort of changes look a little, looks a little bit from time to time. Um, but uh, this time it was too grand a change for me to really uh, recognize him as the Desmond that I've been used to uh, from the other games. Now, uh, putting this aside, is still a very great game. Now the glitches, um, this is also a very big problem for me. Uh, I'll probably put some video here showing you uh, what I'd like to call the not-so-dead guard. And uh, what will happen is uh, you kill a guard, um, usually uh, stealth kill him, and he will be alive or will still uh, notice you. So uh, you will, he, he will bind you to combat as long as uh, he's looking at you. And uh, that is really annoying, especially if you want to sneak around and uh, that guy just spoils it all. That actually happened to me once when I tried to uh, sneak around in the game. So that's really annoying. Now there are a lot of other, other glitches, uh, none of them really major or game breaking, but just overall annoying. Um, well there was there was one mission where uh, where it didn't work as it was supposed to do, and uh, I don't know how, how the game developers didn't see that. Uh, and it's where um, a guy will say that you have to follow him to uh, go to the sewers of the city or something, and uh, of some city, and uh, he will just stand still and only follow you instead of you following him. And uh, there's a lot of bugs in that mission um, where he says things um, should be like this. Uh, there's a couple of guards. This is not really spoiling though. There's a couple of uh, guards uh, sort of um, watching that area, but you can just walk right past them. Which, uh, which I thought was pretty strange. Now the last thing uh, which uh, was annoying or just uh, strange or negative about the game is uh, there's a mission called Benedict Arnold mission or something. Uh, I think you got it through pre-ordering the game. Uh, but um, you got... Uh, well it, w it was a bit annoying because uh, you uh, got access to the mission uh, before uh, some of the other missions, so uh, you got access to it before you actually got to that part of the game. Uh, so you, you sort of, I, I got spoiled quite a bit uh, of the game because of that, because he tells you about something that happens before that, but uh, I hadn't played through that part yet, so uh, in the main mission, so um, that was quite annoying to have that spoil, sort of like an in-game spoiler if you. Uh, uh, so that that really annoyed me that that uh, it was available before it actually made sense to have it in the game. So that should probably also change that if they could. Now let's get on to the happy side of the of the commentary here. Um, the story, the story is really good in the game, and it really falls very well together. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's. Uh, it's uh, sort of like um, what you might think uh, is the 
ending of of the series or ending of the main main story, the main main story. So that's the story with uh, Desmond and and uh, deities and all that. Which, if you haven't played the uh, the other games, this probably won't make any sense to you. So I'm not gonna waste too much time ex uh, explaining that. But it's, it's a really good story, and it's uh, it's some nice uh, it's some nice um, voice actors, and uh, they still have the same for the main characters, uh, which is uh, Desmond, uh, Sean, and Rebecca and his father. The combat is very enjoyable in the game. It's uh, it's easier than the previous games, but uh, still they put sort of uh, they, they put in something to make it more difficult for you. Um, for example, there are some uh, some enemies in the game which uh, can only be brought down in a certain way. Or for example, you can't just counter block their attack. You have to uh, maybe um, take the weapon away from them and kill them with the weapon or something. Uh, it's it's quite interesting. And now also you have a ton more uh, killing uh, abilities in this game than you have in the previous ones, which I thought was really cool. Um, I actually sort of forgot this for the negative part, but um, I would like to add it in as well. Now I do uh, I do videos and games and stuff, so this actually really bothers me a lot. If you uh, if you turn off all your HUD, which is uh, heads up display which is all your minimap and all that if you turn that off uh, it will still display how much money you have and that is really annoying if you want to make like a sort of video uh, where you just want it all to be clean so uh, I thought that was a little bit annoying so uh, yeah anyway uh, back to the good part um, the side missions I think definitely what makes this game really good is uh, the side missions um, in the previous games you had not that many side missions, you had uh, some with uh, Leonardo and uh, and I think it was Brotherhood yeah it was Brotherhood, you had some with Leonardo and I uh, can't remember if you had any in uh, Revelations, you probably had some in Revelations but that is mostly uh, uh, exploring um, like massive churches and uh, Dungeons and all that. You had that as well in Brotherhood and uh, and the Assassin's Creed 2. But I, f I, f I thought the side missions were, were very good, and you have like uh, you have you have uh, the sort of uh, place you can build up later in the game. Uh, that's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's not gonna be very important to the main story. So I hope you don't mind. But uh, you have this uh, little town, and you you can help it prosper through these side stories or you can just play through the game and never even uh, touch it but um, it would be very handy because you can craft stuff uh, through that which I thought was very neat so you can get like better items through that in a way um, yeah and uh, to sort of continue off that side mission thing um, the side missions are uh, very good because they sort of create sort of unique universe for uh, for the game you almost felt like you were playing an RPG but I, I don't really think it's uh, it mar it's marked as an RPG it's probably not but it sort of felt like that it felt like I was sort of playing Skyrim but with a with an Assassin's Creed tone over it I thought it was very cleverly done and uh, I really enjoyed it quite a lot I put um, I think I put 60 hours into the game uh, completing the main story and uh, all of the side things. Well, not all the side things. There's like a million of them, but uh, many of them, and uh, it's been very enjoyable so far. I, I haven't had a look at the PvP yet, but uh, I will do uh, later sometime. And uh, I hope at least the PvP is as, as good as it was in uh, Revelations. Uh, is the PvP was introduced in the game in. Uh, in the third game, uh, Brotherhood, um, and it was sort of rough, but uh, very fun still. Uh, and it was sort of perfected through Revelations, I thought, where it made it much better. Um, uh, yeah, I, I really like that. So I hope they make it and make it at least as well in uh, in this game here, Assassin's Creed 3. 
Now I just want to finish off with uh, comparing it to the other games in the series and uh, I think uh, I was a bit skeptic at first uh, because I'm sort of uh, old school when it comes to Assassin's Creed. I've, up until this game I've uh, thought that the second game Assassin's Creed 2 was definitely the best because it was sort of like uh, if, if you compared it to uh, to the first game, it was uh, double as good as the first game because uh, they brought in a ton of new stuff and they fleshed out the fleshed out the uh, main story and the main character and put a lot more effort into it. It seemed on my part, and um, I really I really enjoyed that game. And I thought the Brotherhood and uh, Revelations were just continuing off that. Not saying that they were bad games, but they were just not as good. They were not as um, uh, s s not such a revelation compared to the first game and second game. But um, I changed my mind, thinking that Assassin's Creed 2 was the best. Now it's definitely Assassin's Creed 3. And at first, I mean, I didn't want to be spoiled by all the hype because hype will usually do that too, where it's like, oh, this game is gonna be the best game I've ever played, and you play the game and it's like, oh, it was not as good as I thought. I had that with some games, but for example with a game like Skyrim, I had it hyped super much, but when I played it, I was like, this is awesome. But um, yeah, I sort of had that as well with this game. And it was really nice not having it spoiled or anything, or hyped up or anything. It really allowed me to uh, enjoy it on my own time. So yeah, um, so definitely the best game in the series. It's also... Uh, uh, considering um, how the other games progress to, through the main, main, main story, <laughs> the one with the deities and all of that, uh, this game, Assassin's Creed 3, definitely had the biggest impact on the main story, um, with Desmond and the deities and the Apple of Eden and all that. So, um, it's a very good game. If if you've been considering to buy it and you've watched this video, obviously, else you be able to hear this. If you consider to buy it and you have the money, I would recommend it. Even to players who are a bit skeptic, thinking, ah, uh, it's not that good. I mean, people will usually do that, but um, once you play it, you will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, this has been enough rambling on for me. I hope you enjoy this video. It's a bit alternative to the other videos I've done so far, but. Um, I just thought I wanted to voice my opinion, uh, so that's what I did. Uh, thanks for watching, if you could uh, leave this video a like if you liked it, dislike if you did. Um, and some feedback would also be nice if you want me to do this on other games in the future. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe if you want to be notified about future uploads, and uh, watch my other stuff if you haven't. It's quite good, I've heard. Not really, I haven't heard that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.